I'm back with another video so soon. I know, look at me being consistent or at least trying to be. Anyway, if you haven't guessed already, today's video is about my tattoos. I'm gonna be taking you guys on a tattoo tour and I'll just be sharing with you guys some of my most painful tattoos, some of my least painful tattoos, my most random tattoo, my most special tattoo and which tattoo I'm thinking about getting next. So before I jump into the details of my tattoos, I took the time to actually count how many tattoos I had. And believe it or not, I don't have that many, not as many as you would think. I have in total 27 tattoos, and I did that based on the pieces, like it's by piece, not by body part. <laughs> So for instance, like my fingers, I just said that that was like one whole tattoo because I got them all done at the same time, rather than being like one tattoo, two tattoos. Like, no, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> this very strange addiction of mine all started when I turned 18. Right on my 18th birthday, I could not wait to go to the tat shop and sign off for myself to get a tattoo. And my first ever tattoo was a palm tree that I have on my back. This is the only tattoo I have on my back. When I first got it done, you know, I was trying to show that bitch off. You know, I'm like taking pictures, like all turned around, like, <laughs> like all of my pictures for a good two weeks were me showing off that one tattoo. There's no real significance behind the palm tree other than the fact that it just reminds me of paradise. I think of the beach, I think of islands, I think of California in particular. When I see a palm tree, it's just very like calming and relaxing. Now the reason that that's the only tattoo that I have on my back is because once I got it done, you know it was all cool and everything, but I couldn't see it unless I was turned around or like took a picture from behind or looked in the mirror. It just wasn't visible to me on a daily basis. So. I said, you know, I would prefer to be able to see my own tattoos. Since I got my palm tree done, I've resorted to doing everything in the front. I essentially said I was going to save my back for last once I was finished tattooing in front of me. So let's talk about my top five least painful tattoos. These are not in chronological order. I just kind of based it off of me not remembering the pain when I got these tattoos done because you would remember <laughs> the pain on certain areas of your body when you get them tattooed. But these, they were kind of just like, mm, I might as well have been asleep because I don't remember. First off, I'm gonna say my face, my face tattoo did not hurt. It was super quick. Once I got it done, it was like five minutes. I, it wasn't even enough for me to even process any pain. But I had always thought like, you know, I get all these other areas of my body tattooed. Would I ever get a face tat? But then on a random Tuesday, <laughs> I said, you know what? I want some twinkles going up my cheekbone. And just to add a little extra razzle dazzle, I decided to go with brown ink instead of black. I tried to get the same shade of brown as my freckles, just so it could kind of like blend in with them. <laughs> a lot of people do ask me if my brown ink tattoos are henna. They are not, they are permanent. You're probably gonna be shocked with this next one. My head, guys did not hurt. Even I was surprised because you know, it's such a sensitive area, it's like right on the scalp. I've heard other stories from people who have head tattoos. They say it, it actually did hurt, but being that I just got, you know, simple line work, it was pretty fast. The sensitive areas out of the entire tattoo, I would have to say is the, like right behind the ear on that little bone part and right near the neck, or I guess the nape area of your head. Those two places hurt the most out of it, but that's just me being, you know, picky. It still really wasn't that painful considering it's your fucking head. It's funny because a lot of people assume that this is a feather. It's actually an olive branch. Olive branches symbolize peace, but I didn't necessarily get that done because of the symbolism. I just got it because it was pretty. So yeah. Next on my list, I would have to say is my neck tattoo right here, my unilome or unilome. This was my first ever neck tattoo 
and it was probably like my fourth or fifth tattoo that I, I had gotten in general. Like I just went straight for the, <laughs> the neck. Overall, the symbol is journey to enlightenment or spiritual evolution. The lines represent trials, tribulations, turns and twists that you take in life. But essentially everyone is trying to reach balance, which is the straight line that you see at the bottom. I was unsure about getting a neck tattoo. I had used eyeliner and drew on my neck just to see, you know, like, oh, could I pull off a neck tattoo? Once I saw it, I was in love and I ended up going <laughs> shortly after to get it permanently done. Next on my list is the forearm area. These little babies did not hurt at all. I literally don't remember getting them done. Like it hurt maybe a little bit, but there are more painful spots, even just on the arm. And the forearm didn't phase me personally. So right here, I have Miss Betty Boop. She's a Playmates version of Betty Boop. And I just have always liked Playboy, the Playboy Bunny symbol. And I've always really liked old cartoons. I used to watch Boomerang, the Boomerang channel, <laughs> and watch, you know, Betty Boop. Pink Panther, I've contemplated getting a Pink Panther tattoo, y'all. So now let's get down to the juicy ones. I know you guys are probably like, okay, so which ones hurt the most? So that way I can make a mental note. I got you. Hmm, let's see. The inside of my arm was pretty painful. I had gotten this done and my scorpion done the same day. The scorpion was a walk in the park compared to the inside of the arm. The inside of the arm was kind of sensitive. And a lot of people think that I'm a Scorpio because of this scorpion tattoo, but really I got it to be a symbol for my Nana who is a Scorpio. And so was my Nana. So that was just a coincidence because I actually got this done before ever meeting him. These little dots, y'all, had me like, shit. <laughs> I was like, bruh, why do these small little dots feel like y'all are just slicing me open from the fingertips? That don't make no sense. But then when I thought about it, I was like, you know what? You know how you get like a little piece of skin and you'll pull it and that shit hurts? Imagine a needle just tapping away in that area. It really hurts. And honestly, they've lasted a long time. I got them done probably about three years ago. Normally they say you have to get them touched up on a yearly to every other year basis. This one's supposed to be like the third eye or the all seeing eye. And this symbol right here is an ohm. My finger's switching. Too much caffeine. And that just, represents being eternally present. And for number one, drum roll please. Oh my gosh, what a surprise. My fucking sternum was number one for most painful tattoo. For me to have such a high pain tolerance, it was, it was kind of like, like I haven't gone back to get any type of shading done, nothing else done to that tattoo since. And that was like, Coming up on a year, that should put it into perspective, y'all. If you want your sternum done, just be prepared. First and last tattoo that's ever made me cry. And I don't shed tears when I get tatted. I keep a poker face. That sternum tattoo made me its bitch, so. Now, if I had to choose my most special tattoo on my body, I would have to say it's the half ram, half bull skull that I created myself. <laughs> and it's supposed to be a symbol for me and my mom. You guys know I'm an Aries queen and she is actually a Taurus queen. With the ram skull representing Aries and the bull skull representing Taurus, it just kind of fuses together to show how similar me and my mom are, ultimately saying that we're one, we're one and the same. My most random tattoo I would have to say is a tie between my face tattoo and my hand tattoo, Miss Toodles. I really did not know that these two tattoos were gonna be on my body until maybe a day before I went through with that decision, but it actually worked out so bomb, so perfect. I knew that when I had first got my sleeve done that I wanted my sleeve to go from my neck to my hand. 
and I kind of saved my hand for last out of that vision that I had. When I would sit there and think about like, what do I see on my hand? Half the time it was just line work. I was gonna keep it tribal just like this little area right here and bring it down some more. But now that I have her on my hand, I'm like, she was meant to be there the whole time. I've had her as my profile picture for about three years now, at least I think. I feel like when people see her, they see me, you know? Finally, what is my next tattoo going to be? Hmm. I don't fucking know. That's exactly why I have not gotten any tattoos yet. I don't know, I have no clue. I've been waiting for some drop of inspiration to just pop into my head. So I guess you guys will just have to stay tuned on that part. I'll definitely be vlogging my next tattoo for sure.